What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, and welcome back to another episode. If you guys have not followed along with the entire series, make sure you go back. We'll drop links down below where you guys can see me convert this entire room from a billiards room, a pool table room, into a epic home theater. And this room is not ideal. The whole purpose of this was to give you guys inspiration as to things that you could do in your own home, especially for my customers on the East Coast and the West Coast in older homes that aren't new construction, you may have an extra bedroom or just your living room and you're trying to accomplish a killer home theater system, right? Well, that's what we do here at Dream Media. We create solutions. Obviously, when you have a perfectly rectangular room with no windows, we can knock it out of the park and build our theater to spec but that's just not reality. So I made a previous video for you guys on a WAF video, which means wife acceptance factor. And I said that this is the ultimate WAF setup because what we had was the Salamander Designs cabinet, which is housing my LS800 from Epson. And we are broadcasting onto this 120 inch screen. I threw the Focal 302 in the stand and we utilized the front left and right. Well, they're actually Atmos speakers. Speakers. That's what they were intended to be used for whenever I initially installed them. But I hooked them up temporarily as front left and right in ceiling speakers. And I can already hear it now. The haters, right? That is not going to be the recommended or the optimal way for you to set up a home theater system. In a perfect world, we want all of your speakers at ear level to give you the best experience. In that video, I had these hooked up as my front left and right, the 302 as the center, and then I had ceilings, four of them is my Atmos, and I had two in walls at the rear. Realistically, that is the ultimate WAF setup or a designer's dream is to have just the screen on the wall, all the equipment hidden. Actually, in a perfect world, <laughs> you would have all this equipment gone in a AV cabinet in a closet and have just the screen on the wall. But, you know, we're always looking for solutions and I like to throw a bunch of different circumstances out there for you. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over over all of the different variants of ways that you could potentially hook up your speakers with an ultra short throw setup. I hope that you guys find this video extremely informative. I'm gonna go into a bunch of different details on the different options that are available. Let's get into it. All right, welcome back Dream Media family. Let's get into this video. I know this one is gonna help you guys out. Everybody out there doing an ultra short throw setup, you could start by just taking the ultra short throw and uh, putting it on top of a box or a inexpensive Ikea stand and broadcasting onto the wall. That's option number one, right? Option number two is upgrading to the screen. Option number three would be the screen, projector, and cabinet combo. Then you're like, okay, I really wanna take it to the next level. Let's get speakers. I showed you guys in that WAF video an option for a hidden center speaker. Not ideal. Speaker firing at your feet. That's actually how I have it set up still currently because I'm doing some other content in the space. But that combined with front left and rights in the ceiling. This is going to be really common for a lot of my guys using this in a living room situation. So keep that in mind. We do have available and what I would recommend if you're going to run in ceiling front left and right are the 300 series. IWLCR5. I may have messed up that skew, but it's an LCR speaker, specifically left and right, but it goes in the ceiling. In a perfect world, you would have all three speakers lined up right behind the screen or as close to ear level as possible. Let's talk about option number two. I would say that's how we have it right now. You could have the center speaker here inside of the console and the 302s or the 301s on stands. Option number three, which I'm going to do eventually, you can mount the 302 your full front sound stage to the wall around the screen. Option number four, and I think this one is gonna be a home run for a lot of you guys. The Focal 301s mounted underneath the screen. That one would be really clean. You could do right, left, and center. That's just a safety feature with the LS800. I keep doing it in all these videos. <laughs> They're very shallow. They're like three inches in depth and you can do them right across the front sound stage at your level. But for a lot of designers and a lot of people trying to make the wife happy in say a formal living space or even just your family room, it may not be an option. You know, it just is kind of ugly looking. Speakers in general just 
are kind of a no-no when it comes to design, which is why we sell so many architectural in wall and in ceiling speakers. We even have speakers that are completely invisible from stealth acoustics, but we have to put those into the wall before the sheetrock goes up and then we sheetrock over it. Now this one here, I had the office send me a, a few of these bad boys. I think this is gonna be the perfect median point for a lot of you guys to maximize WAF factor and also give you good performance and meet home theater standards. This is gonna be option number five. Okay, so what do we have here? A Focal 100 IW LCR5. So I guess the skew that I was thinking about for the ceiling is the 300 IC LCR5. 300 series, I'm a big fan of because they go up to their flax woofers and their aluminum magnesium inverted dome tweeters, which is used in all their trickle down technology. Big step up from the 100 series, but those LCRs don't fit inside of the wall in a standard 16 inch setup, which <laughs> I mean, most of you guys just have standard 16 inch walls. And a lot of the time you may not have even the framing lining up perfectly to where you can fit these in the wall, which is why I was stating that that other configuration of the center speaker in the cabinet and ceiling speakers is a little more flexible and helps you get that WAF approval as well as just, you know, make the room's design. It's not impacting the room's design is what I'm saying. But these bad boys right here can fit in a standard 16 inch stud bay, but it's only the 100 series. These things still sound amazing though, so I don't want to discredit it. It's just that I am in love with the 300 series for the money. It's definitely a step up from these guys here. But what you can do is you can put all of these in your wall across the front sound stage, and it's even better than having the Focal 301s on the wall. Some of my customers over the years have been extremely picky and don't even want to see the in walls messing up the front wall. They just want the screen. In a lot of those situations, they don't even want a cabinet. They want us to put all the equipment in a closet, in a rack, out of sight, out of mind, TV on the wall. That's it. And in those situations, we've done the full front sound stage in the ceiling. So not that that's optimal, but it gets the job done. It's better than the TV speakers, better than a sound bar, and makes everybody happy. <laughs> so this here, I think is gonna be an amazing solution though. My option number five for a lot of you guys out there curious as to what to do with the ultra short throw and the speaker system. I'm gonna open it up and show it to you. I have three of them actually. <laughs> and depending on, I got a lot on my plate right now, but depending on how much time I have, I may install all three of these across the front sound stage for you because they fit perfectly in there. Let me open up one of these bad boys for you. <laughs> I have used these on a ton of home theater systems for left, right, center applications. Go type that into YouTube, Dream Media Focal 100 Series LCR. But you can see it's a pretty small form factor. This is the cutout template. So you can put it in the wall right here. And at least it's not in the cabinet to where it's super low firing at your feet. You're closer to ear level, but you gotta make sure your framing lines up. So there's a whole nother element to this choice here. Magnetic grill, removable grill that is paintable. So again, unless you know, you're dealing with a very strict design element, this will fit the bill for 99% of you guys out there. Check it out. This is the speaker. Standard 16 inch stud bay, LCR, and look at this. The tweeter is rotatable. So you can even aim the tweeter up higher towards your target seating area. It does have high level and mid level adjustments on it. It's a good quality speaker. Push button terminals and check it out. This is kind of the look you would have. And I'll even take the grill out and show you kind of the finished look like this. Definitely a viable option. Your framing just has to work. So let me show you an example of that. All right, this is just a stud finder from Franklin Sensors. You run it across the wall like this. 
and it shows you where the studs are. So as you can see, the reason I brought this one up is like I have a stud over here, and then as you go over further, I have a stud here. Standard 16 inch, so I could fit in a left speaker here, and then whenever you look at the wall, I got a stud here, and then my next stud is over here, which lines up center on the cabinet. So make sure to check your studs before you call and just order this from us, because I don't want you guys to get the speaker all dirty, and it doesn't work out, and then we gotta charge you restock fees to return it. Okay, then let's look at this side. Same thing. See, I got framing right here, a stud here, and then my next one is until over here. So I, I could slip in front, left, right, and center. It would give me really good dispersion, similar to what I have now, but it would be completely 100% hidden inside of the wall, which is really going to be at the top of the list if you're trying to get designer that waff factor. <laughs> designer or wife approval, keeping everything super clean. I know we we have been asked a lot over the years what to do about your speakers for ultra short throw and there's not a lot of information out there on the internet so I wanted to create a video for you guys going over all of the options that I think are reasonable and also talk about performance. I feel like this particular one checks both boxes. We're getting the performance and we're getting the design element and we're getting our massive screen. The only thing is, is the speaker is fairly entry level technology. If you're wanting ultra high end it's really difficult guys there's always a trade-off you know like box speakers are always gonna give you the best performance so if you're going in wall immediately you're compromising but you know there's there's that balance there you get a system and it looks clean it's better than having no system is the way I look at it so we're always trying to work with families around the country to find solutions that fit drop comments down below let me know what you think about this one. All right, Dream Media family, that is a wrap on my five different solutions for ultra short throw and speakers. Center speaker, left, right speaker, how do you handle it? I hope that this gave you guys some inspiration as the things that you can do in your own home. If you liked the video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Keep in mind, we do offer a free video consultation where we will walk through your space, take a look at your budget and optimize the package to fit your exact needs and budget so that you get the best experience possible. And keep in mind, we do ship around the entire country and have a preferred installer network in 28 different states at this time. We would love the opportunity to earn your business. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.